Hello students. I hope you all are fit and fine at your place. My name is Poonam Patel. I am a class teacher of grade 1 teaching in Sri Vasisht Vidyalaya. I welcome you all to today's online learning with the subject environment. But before I tell you today's topic, I want you all to guess today's topic through a picture. So, let us look at the picture. Can you see something in this picture children? Yes. There are many vehicles moving, right? So, our today's topic is transportation. Let us understand and learn about this today. Children, what do you mean by transport or transportation? There are many meaning to this word. Basically, transportation is a way to move someone or something. It means to carry out things from one place to another. This movement includes movement of people, animals or goods from one location to another. There are even more example to this words like a heart transport blood throughout the body. That is also a transportation. Roots in the plant transport water and nutrition to the other part of the plant. Now children just think if roots will not transport water and nutrition to the other part of the plant will the plant grow healthy no so there are several reasons for transportation even people move from one place to another for several reasons so let us understand this reasons to transport or travel to visit to a school to buy things to go to our workplace to go to play in a garden to visit to a doctor if required to visit different places for pleasure to meet our relatives and many other places we are visiting right but tell me one thing children is it that possible to travel such places everywhere by walking no we can't do that so we take help of different vehicles to travel easily depending upon the distance we want to travel so now let us understand different modes of transportations we use modes of transport it means that a medium on which the movement of the vehicles take place if i say in other words any form of vehicle used to transport people or goods from one place to another the most common three mode of transportation are as follows land transport water transport and air transport today we'll learn this all three in details land transport The various means of transport available on land are road transport. Roads connect different villages, towns and cities. The most common road vehicles include buses, trucks, motorcycles, scooter, rickshaw, car, vans, bicycle and many more. Now let us understand few means of land transport let us take few examples like school bus school bus pick and drop the students and teachers to school tractor tractor is used in farms and in construction work auto rickshaw auto rickshaw is used in cities and town to travel shorter distance handcart you must have seen this children handcart is pulled or pushed by one or more people now look at the last picture children you also must have seen this in the older days bullock carts horse cart camel cart were the only means of transport to carry people and carry loads 
Now let us talk about the railway transport. Railway transport includes all transport over rails or tracks. This includes passenger trains, good trains, metro trains and trams. Railway transport carries more people or goods compared to road transport. Now let us see a different, two different trains over here. Look at the first picture children. It's a passenger train. Passenger trains travel between one station to another in different cities. Train stops at railway station to carry and drop passengers. Many people can fit in train compared to other land transport. Now look at the second picture children. It's a, met it's a metro train. Metro trains move on electric power. It carries you as fast speed and gives you a good comfort while traveling. Traveling in metro train will help you to reach faster as it does not have any traffic issues. Now let us talk about one more mode of transport that is water transport. Water transport includes boat, ship, steamer, yacht, submarines. Submarines and boats sail along big rivers and ship sail in the ocean and seas. It carries passenger and goods from one place to another. Water transport is slow as compared to road, rail or air transport. Now let us look at some means of water transport. Yacht. A yacht is a medium sized sailing boat. It is used for cruising, racing in the water bodies and for pleasure ride. The second picture is of submarine. Submarines can move under the water. It is mostly used by navies, military purpose and also by scientists to travel deep into the sea to study deep water sea life. If you are interested, you must have observed this in Discovery Channel. Now look at the third picture children. It's a boat. Boats are mostly used for fishing. It is also used for sports in water bodies and rescue means save people's drawing in water. It is most oldest way of transport. Air transport. Air transport includes all transport through the air such as airplanes, helicopters, hot air balloons, rocket, glider drone and more. It is the fastest means of transport and connects all major cities. It is possible to reach other country in few hours or a day through air transport and that is why air transport is expensive. Now let us look at the means of air transport. The first picture which is the colorful looking like a balloon, it's a hot air balloon. Hot air balloon and blimp is a flight technology used for pleasure rides by people. The second picture is of a rocket. A rocket is a flying vehicle used by human to travel on space for space exploration. Airplane. Airplanes carry people and goods from one place to another in short time. Planes land and take off from an airport. They are also used by our military people. The second picture is of helicopter. Helicopter is also mainly used by military people. It is used for res rescue, carry patients and firefighting. Helicopter lands on the area known as helipad. Children, now let us understand that there are also other ways of grouping the transport that is personal transport and public transport. 
Personal transport is individual vehicle for personal use. You also must be having your own vehicles. Example, car, scooter, bicycle, etc. It is used by the owner or by family and friends. Public transport. Public transport is for the use of general public provided by a government. Example, bus, train, ship, taxi, etc. Public transport lets many people travel at the same time. Oh yes! Now it's a time to trigger for your homework. Children, I'll be giving you two homework for today. Homework first. Solve the riddles and write the answers in your rough book and keep the record. Children, I'm reading all the riddles for you, so listen it carefully. First, I'm painted yellow. I carry many children to school and drop them home again. Who am I? Next, I am a vehicle move on land. I help farmers to work in fields. Who am I? Next, I can fly with many passengers and goods. I land at an airport. Who am I? Next, I have many wheels but they can roll on tracks only. I have many compartments to carry people and goods. Who am I? Next and the last. I have no wheels but still you can sail me in the water. I am small compared to other water vehicles. I am mostly used for fishing. Who am I? Next homework. Draw three columns and list down five names of each mode of transport. Children, you will draw the columns as shown here in your rough book for the homework. Okay? I thank you all my children for joining today's learning session. I end my session here. Take good care of you and your family. Keep social distancing and stay healthy. Have a great day children. But listen, do not miss out learning. Keep on with learning from home. Take care. Goodbye.